Hey everybody, this is Ad Greg Carrasco from the Greg Carrasco Show on AM640 and today I am super, super psyched about what I'm going to talk to you uh, today. It's beautiful outside, it's Canada Day, long weekend and this is the first time that we get the chance to have a look at the brand new 2019 Santa Fe and I gotta tell you, so this is gonna be the preface of the video that I can stand here and bore you to death with engineering details, compression ratios, blah, 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 but I won't do that. The reason why is because I don't like cars. So I'm gonna give you an, an actual um, a review on the things that will affect you. So the first thing that comes into place is this. And the Canada says that there will be three engines available for you. The first one is a, a 2.4 liter engine with 185 horsepower and 178 foot-pounds of torque, which is very similar to the one that we have in the current side of Fay. The next one, if you want a little bit more oomph on your drive, is a two-liter turbo with 235 horsepower and 260 foot-pounds of torque. And for those people that need, need additional room for the extended wheelbase Santa Fe Excel, there will be a 2.2 liter turbo diesel engine that has 198 horsepower but 322 foot-pounds of torque. What? That's right. Now, we are pretty excited about this because we've never had a diesel in the Hyundai lineup, at least here in Canada. And it meets all the emissions and requirements for, um, for the Ministry of Transportation. So come around here. One of the first things that you'll notice is very simple. When Hyundai said that they were gonna change the game for SUVs, they've actually done it. I took it home last night and I'm gonna talk to you about a little bit about this. But if you look at the front end, it's quite similar to what you find with the new Kona. It's like the new Kona went to the gym, started lifting some actual real weights, did some jujitsu, and it grew an attitude. This is a front end with an attitude. So this is not an SUV, it's a beast. They should change the name from Santa Fe to the Hyundai Beast. They haven't done it yet. One day maybe they'll give me credit for the marketing uh, initiative that I'm taking here. But if you look at the front end, this is the, the actual lighting cues of the Kona. They started the new, the new front end. This is part of the family, the Hyundai family, and it looks amazing. Now, one of the things that you notice right away is this. The new 2019 Santa Fe is about three inches longer. So if you come around, so as I was saying, the, uh, the industry is going this direction with the new CRV, the RAV4, uh, the new Rogue. All the back end is becoming a little bit square. So this will increase your cargo capacity significantly. Let me show you. The back end on this unit is enormous. So if you are all about the base, this car has got no treble. The back end is enormous. You like it, you can put all kinds of things in here. Uh, it's got a couple of cargo compartments here. And over here, so you can put your groceries and tools or general all around junk. I know who you are putting shoes and purses and man purses, they all go in here. So now you have to keep them out of sight. Now this unit here is the second one from the bottom. This is something that we call the prefer unit. Uh, it's got a funky new uh, cloth interior that looks, it looks sharp. Uh, it's got some texture to it. It's more like canvas. Uh, I'm all about it. I like it. So you see, we're talking about simple things here. These are the things that you will notice right away when we're talking about design cues. I like it. So come around, stop for a second and we get inside the vehicle for you. Hey everybody, um, Carrasco here. Now we're inside the 2019 Santa Fe. Uh, this is all new and the interface that you see here is something uh, pretty cool. But um, I'm gonna try to do something that I've never done before because I normally don't use Apple CarPlay or um, uh, what is the other one, the Android connectivity. So uh, what you need to do for the vehicle, and I wish that they would have a, a wireless way of doing it just through Bluetooth, but apparently to use your CarPlay, you need to have a USB. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna connect my phone. And um, the icon should pop up here for our Apple CarPlay, so I have an iPhone. So now I click on it. And I just talked to Siri. Hey Siri. Text Ross Cunningham. 
What do you want to say? Hello, you handsome bastard. Your message to Ross Cunningham says, Hello, you handsome bastard. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, I'll send it. <laughs> so, as I was saying earlier, um, you know, the new interface that we have here is something that we've seen in the last couple of cars that have come out of the Hyundai lineup. The, uh, the first one that I saw with it is the, um, the all-new Elantra GT. Uh, and uh, the new Kona has the same type of interface. Uh, one of the best things about it is how intuitive the system actually is. So if your car has never had a telematic system within inside, uh, if you you know if your last car was 10 years old or so, uh, once you look at this, you're going to be able to just touch the screen and make things happen. Um, Everything for you is here, whether it's your blue link, your uh, serious media, uh, or your voice commands, everything is right there at the touch of a button. Now, the entire screen is touch screen. Now, the, the, but the buttons inside here, you know, whether it's your heated seats or your heated steering wheel, and I gotta tell you, heated steering wheel is the one feature that nobody knew they always wanted. Once you have that in your life, you never, ever, ever wanna live without a heated steering wheel. It's fantastic. Um, that together with everything else that you see here uh, is part of something that comes in the preferred package now this unit i don't know if uh if because this is a press unit i don't know if the packages have already been determined but in the preferred package on this car here you will get power windows door lock steering cruise control cd player air conditioning keyless entry alarm system security system heated front seats heated steering wheel uh, you also have the lane departure with intervention system so for my senior customers uh you know as you get older your reflexes get a little slower and your periphery peripheral vision is a little narrower uh this is a perfect system for you to keep you within the lanes and if you're driving long distances whether it's to the cottage or the US this is perfect for you just to look out for you when you are not really paying attention which you should but you know stuff happens we understand this so uh, the other thing that you'll notice is how substantial the vehicle feels in the inside the actual materials they're using for this new unit are so much more refined than the old model that you can definitely see the improvement now here on your rear view mirror not only you get the compass you also have your home link so if you have a two or three garage uh, um, a three car garage you can just hook up your garage or open it to this and you never uh, need to use the clicker anymore you can program this directly into your automatic dim and rear view mirror this is quite cool um, now the blue link also comes connected with your emergency button so if you get into trouble and you have no idea how to get out of it you push the button here and our roadside assistance is going to be connected directly to you with the blue link now blue link connectivity is something that uh, you can control through your phone so you can start the car you can uh, lock the car you can uh, answer phone calls from you know from here and also when you send that SOS signal uh, it will alert the authorities that you're in trouble so this is actually pretty cool um, now what I want to do is that I want to take the vehicle for a short test drive uh, we're gonna drive it around the city here for a couple of minutes just to give you a, a more of a driver's impression of what's happening You know, if anyone ever told you it told you that hell was somewhere else other than here, they've never driven on Young Street and Steels. You know, if you look at that, that's that's my future now. I just covered with cars. It's terrible. So stay away from Young Street at all costs, unless you're looking to buy a Hyundai, and for that you come to Thornhill Hyundai because there is where is that. You know, one of the one of the first things that I noticed when I got into the vehicle is how much quieter it is than the old model. I don't know if they have some new sound insulation that is making the vehicle significantly quieter than before, but um, it is so much quiet. Now, one of the other features that this vehicle has that a lot of people find extremely annoying, but in this car you can shut it off, is uh, the automatic start and stop at the at the stoplight. So if the vehicle senses that you've come to a complete stop, it would it will shut the engine off, uh, so that way you don't continue to use unnecessary amounts of gas, which is is quite nice to have. Uh, I don't particularly like it. It's always disconcerting. I feel that I'm you know I'm gonna step on the gas and the car is just gonna stop. But you know some people like it, and if, if you're really uh, environmentally conscious, it's certainly something that is nice to have. Um, the um, again let's talk about the way it feels for me 
um, because I get to drive these things all the time. Um, now this one here is the one that has the smallest engine. It's a, it's a 2.4 with 185 horsepower and 178 foot-pounds of torque. Um, it's got a lot of strength, initial strength. So uh, if you are a, a city driver and you don't need the additional horsepower, uh, it's certainly something that is going to be more than enough for you to take, take the kids to school and go to work. Um, now, as per the highway capabilities, I don't know yet. I wish it was a highway closer to Young and Steels, but there isn't one. Maybe we should put subterranean. You know, most countries, when, when I went to Chile this past January, I was amazed because I really haven't gone there that many times and I was born there, but I moved up here 30 years ago. And uh, they have built that uh, underground infrastructure of highway so you can get to anywhere in the city underground. It's fascinating because you think that you know, third world countries uh, would, would be less advanced when it comes to their, their uh, transportation infrastructure, but that, that doesn't seem to be the case. Um, Anyway, so getting back to the 2019 Santa Fe, you will find an unusual amount of space. You will find an unusual amount of quietness. Now that may be disconcerting at times because people are, you know, that are used to the old Santa Fe, which is, in my opinion, one of the best SUVs that ever hit the Canadian market, especially the 17s or 18s. Um, if you are in the market uh, for a deal and not an SUV, if you are in the market for a deal, to buy a 2017 uh, or 18 new, there are some left in the city. Um, you can get up to $12,000 off on those things in some specific models. So it's a really good deal to buy the old one. Uh, saying that, the uh, the previous Santa Fe driver, uh, because the, the current model Santa Fe has been around for about seven years, which is one of the longest lasting uh, SUVs in Canada without a refacing. So, you know, we, we have been looking forward to this, um, to the new generation. This is the fourth generation Santa Fe. Um, you know, we're, we're quite excited to have it here. Let me just uh, clear this intersection without, uh, uh, you see, it's, it's virtually impossible. Look at this. Dear Young Street, please let me cross the street. There you go. Finally, two hours later. Um, the, the, the driver of the previous Santa Fe is used to a certain a noise level. This is going to be significantly less. It's quieter, it's roomier. You know, I think that um, I think that Hyundai has a winner. I am I'm quite excited. Now, um, if, um, if the folks at Hyundai Canada put together a special uh, special programs as they normally do. They have the most aggressive retail programs in Canada for sure. Uh, if they do that with this vehicle and uh, they understand the market needs, uh, I see myself selling a ton of these cars. Um, when I brought it to the store yesterday, the entire sales staff as well as the mechanics, because the mechanics look at vehicles in, with different eyes. Um, they are all thrilled to have this vehicle landing at dealerships within the next few weeks. So, I hope that you found this uh, this video useful. I, you know, like I said to you before, I I don't want to bore you with you know engineering specifications because I don't care. Uh, for me, it's a it's, it's a it's a little simpler. I, you know, I'm not a I've said this a million times on the radio show. I'm not a car person. Uh, I just look at cars for what they do for me, and uh, they are exact. You know, they are the re what replaces the horse. So they take me from here to there safely, quicker. Uh, and some people are willing to spend tremendous amounts of money to buy something that reflects their life success. Uh, you know, my uh, my videography here, Lucas, asked me a little bit earlier today, what is it that I thought about Audis? And um, what I feel about Audis is, is very simple. It's a great brand. They, um, they look amazing, they drive amazing, their safety features are all there, their all-wheel drive system is spot on. Uh, but if you want to get yourself a, you know, a midline Audi A4, you, you're looking at $55,000. So the question is this, what else can you buy for $55,000? You know, the, the truth is that you can buy yourself, you know, a Toyota Camry, a Honda Accord, a Nissan Maxima, a Hyundai Sonata that will be bigger, longer, wider, taller, stronger, better equipped, better horsepower, better torque, uh, less maintenance costs. Uh, I can give you an endless amount of reasons why it doesn't make any sense 
to pay twenty or thirty thousand dollars more for for just a brand. Um, the latest JD Power result, uh, you know, surprised a lot of people uh, because Genesis, Kia, and Hyundai ended up at the top of the initial quality report for 2018 JD Power, and uh, the perceptions are changing. The car industry is moving forward, and uh, I think that uh, if you're looking at anything within this segment, whether it's a, a BMW X3, if you're looking at a um, a CRV, a RAV4, a Highlander, if you're looking at an Acura RDX, uh, if you're looking at all those mid, you know, small to mid size SUVs in the marketplace, you are not doing yourself a favor if you don't look at the brand new 2019 Santa Fe. It is an exceptional vehicle. It's beautiful to look at. Now, I understand that looks are subjective. What is this lady doing? Um, you know, she seems to be driving in both lanes here. This is typical up here, guys. You know, is a it's a bit of a war zone. Yesterday, I rode my bike up to the dealership, and uh, I I could not believe the number of times that I had to go on my horn to generate awareness that I was around. It's never happened to me before. But on Young Street, from here to the 401, there was four or five times in which I had to, you know, honk the horn at somebody because they did not, whether they didn't know I was there or they didn't care. My exhaust is so loud, it's impossible to ignore it. So I have to say that they didn't care I was there. Either way, if you're looking at any SUV in the marketplace right now, you are not doing yourself a favor. You need to come down and have a look at the 2019 Hyundai Santa Fe. Brand new, all new. It should be in stores within the next few weeks. Once again, this is Greg Carrasco from the Greg Carrasco Show on AM640, the longest and best automotive show in Canada. It's on AM640 Saturday mornings from 8 to 11 a.m. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you found this video useful. I know it's a little simplistic. You know, I, I, I meant it that way. And uh, hopefully you get some interesting information and you got some good looks at the new 2019 Santa Fe. I want to thank Hyundai Canada for stepping up and bringing a vehicle in for me to have a look at and talk about this on the web and on the radio show. This will benefit the entire industry, especially Hyundai dealerships in the GTA. Again, thank you.